There's many reasons for us to be grateful and thank God. And rejoice for everything else that we have this day. We have celebrated the Feast of St. Therese today. Also, we praise the Lord for our guiding angels. Tomorrow, we'll be celebrating the transitors. And then Sunday, we're going to be remembering and praising God for our Father Francis. God Almighty is giving us so many, so many gifts. And today, He's calling each of us to be like children. What a great calling is that God is, is giving us to each of us today to be like little ones. It might be really difficult sometimes this calling to be small and lesser. St. Francis was one of them in the church that was called by God to be small, simple, humble, and obedient to the will of God. It is not easy sometimes to say, yes, I want to be obedient. Yes, I want to be chaste. Yes, I want to be poor. But I do believe that God has given us the grace already to do those things. It's already in our nature, not because I say so, because God Almighty already has given us the grace to do it. I invite all of you this day to be open to the littleness that God has given us. Be open to dream new things. Be open to imagine new things. Be open to accept the little things that our brother keep giving us each day. Sometimes we don't understand what they do. Sometimes we just question, my Lord, what is that about? Who cares? It doesn't matter what they do, what they say, or how they behave. What it truly matters is that we open our hearts and thank God for the gifts of what we have today. When you wake up this morning, what was your first thought? Do you thank God for the bed that you have? Do you praise God for the window that you have? Do you praise God for the chapel that we have? Do you praise God and thank Him for the Mass that we have every single day? in this place. Many children rejoice when they have a toy. And poor children, they take care of their toys. <laughs> if we are called little ones and lesser brothers of Francis of Assisi, that's all we have here. So our call is to be grateful for our toys. It might be sound strange this analogy that I'm comparing toys with the chapel, with the tabernacle, with the cross, with brothers and everything else. But it will help us to remember how we were, when we were little, that we were like rejoicing and thanking God when we saw our friends, when, we, when our parents came and gave us a toy. I remember when my dad um, bought, bought me a bike. And he, was, he had the bike in the kitchen. It was about 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning and I woke up and was like, where's my, where's my toy? What is it? What is it? And my dad was just playing around. He didn't want me to see it. And then I went back in the kitchen and I saw the bike. I was so happy. I'm going to go to have fun. And I took care of that bike because that was the only bike I had. So we do the same with the things that we have. Our bravery, we take care of it. Do we take care of a chair that we have that we see every single day in play? Brothers, I could say a lot of things here, but the main, the, the main point is that we must rejoice and thank God. We only have one life. Tomorrow is tomorrow, and today is today. And God is calling us to be grateful today. I beg you to stop complaining. I beg you to fight for the joy of the gospel. It's enough for us to just sit down and fight for the gift that God is giving us each day. We have the joy in our hearts. We have what we need in our nature. We can grow and we can become what God is calling us to be each day. 
be a dreamer, and consider the gospel that God has given us through our Father.